Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about intensity and what is intensity. Because in my experience, I've come to realize that there are two different types of intensity that can be applied strategically in your training in order to increase your muscle growth. Now intensity is by no means the only principle in training. There are some people that go through the motions through certain workouts, some people call them forms of deloading, and these are also effective techniques as well. But I would say without the influence of intensity at some point or another, you will be missing out in a lot of gains. Now the most common form of intensity that people know is the intensity of weight, such as the higher the percentage of your one rep max that you use in a set means that you used a higher intensity form of weight. So if you could do 300 pounds for a set of one and you use 295 pounds, that means that's a higher form of intensity than say using 220 pounds, right? So this intensity is fine, but of course if you use it, too intense of a weight or too heavy of a weight, you may find that you get injured or you get a lack of results over the long run. This is why powerlifters don't always run close to their one rep maxes all the time when they're training because doing so would overtrain and injure them. Now, does it mean that you shouldn't do high intensity weights from period of time? Yes, you should. And for me, I find sets of five to six reps is plenty of intensity in order to ensure that you're using a high enough amount of weight for your heavy days or your heavy sets. Now at some point, most beginners and intermediates, just like myself back in the day, I became aware of using heavy weight for the sake of heavy weight had some advantages to a point, but there were disadvantages such as overtraining injury and going backwards in your results, right? So I found that by incorporating different types of intensity, it helped synergistically improve the other type of intensity. And this is what I'm getting to next. The next form of intensity is effort intensity, such as going deep into the burn and hitting a deep level of failure in the muscles. With medium reps, high reps, it just means a high level of effort with whatever you're doing in the gym. Now we all know those people, I mean, they apply too much effort to everything. I mean, it's overkill. They end up overtraining, everything has to be 110%. And some people, even in video games, I mean, even in video games, they're applying you know, their exercise routine. Like these guys are crazy, right? Why do you always gotta take the quad? I told you, squats, cardio. I keep telling you this, now you gotta take the quad. You'd rather take something that's on fire just to avoid cardio. I tell you, if you're gonna play video games, at least get your cardio in so you can play video games and still be in shape. It's just easy advice. It's just easy advice, but you're so lazy you even got to you know look at this now you're getting shot see if you walk see this is it this is what happens you die as soon as you have to take the vehicle see this is what happens this this should teach you a lesson teach you a lesson in cardio if you would have just worked out use fucking legs rather than drive something you would have survived that's a lesson right here natural gland bodybuilding video game survival techniques so just because i'm promoting intensity doesn't mean i say intensity has to happen all the time. So remember that, right? Okay, proper penguin? All right? You don't have to do your workouts in the middle of a video game. All right? Check them out on Twitch if you want. Guy needs some help. So this next form of intensity is really pushing through the burn or pushing through the deep level of discomfort that comes with failure type training. And you see this when people are pre-exhausting a muscle group and then they're taking a compound lift deeper into failure and the burn is so bad that it feels like their limbs are gonna fall off, right? This is definitely a form of intensity that gives great results for hypertrophy and at the same time super saturates the area full of blood and may help with recovery when it comes down to bringing more strength and muscle mass to you, right? So I find a combination of these two forms of intensity really makes a big difference in your training. And I'm not saying you have to do both in the same workout. That's the other mistake I find a lot of people make is they think, oh, pepper goes well with salt, so let's throw some chili powder in there, let's throw some you know, dog crap in there, some kitty litter and everything, and then the meal is gonna be perfect. No, I think it's good to isolate certain techniques to certain workouts so that way you're really training a certain part of your system 
to failure, or you're really pushing that certain part of your system, and then a different workout, you isolate a different form of technique or a different form of intensity, and then push yourself into failure that way or into that form of intensity, right? That way you're giving one a break while you're pushing the other. Make sense? I think it makes sense. So now that you're seeing this video, you're thinking, okay, high intensity is great. Just high intensity, high intensity. Do a one shot, Jason. Let me get the circle. I hit him. I did a headshot with a two time scope. Look, I got him <gasps> with a two time scope. No, that's the other thing I want to say is that sometimes there's a time and place for low intensity workouts because this keeps your body moving. It keeps the blood flowing. And at the same time, it also establishes coordination and makes sure that you're not losing your groove on the days that you're off. So it's a form of active rest. Now the lower intensity workouts also prepare you for those higher intensity days. So when you're doing lower intensity workouts, you're gonna notice that you're gonna be able to manifest a higher level of effort and push into a deeper level of fatigue on those higher intensity days. So on the high intensity effort day, you're gonna be able to get more reps. And on the high intensity weight day, your groove is gonna be established. So that way you may get more reps as well or be able to use more weight. You see what I'm saying? So by playing around with the orchestra of intensity, by doing different forms of intensity on different days, I find you get the perfect result. And remember, I do feel that all of these intensities are necessary in a certain mix for your training to go perfect. So working out, just going through the motions, obviously will not produce the same result as having really high intensity days in effort or in weight from time to time. So yeah, if you wanna see how I structure this sort of thing, I do it in my workout programs on my website, and you can see it there. But otherwise, yeah, just remember, incorporate all forms of intensity in your training in order to get the best possible result. Mountain. So I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now.